What is IGBT, Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor, and how does it work? An Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor, IGBT, is a semiconductor device commonly used in power electronics to switch or amplify electrical power in applications such as motor drives, electric vehicles, renewable energy systems, and industrial controls. It combines the characteristics of a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, MOSFET, and a bipolar junction transistor, BJT, making it highly efficient for high voltage, high current operations. Structure of IGBT The insulated gate bipolar transistor, IGBT, has a layered semiconductor structure that combines both MOSFET and BJT characteristics. Its structure can be divided into the following regions. Collector, P plus substrate. This is the bottom layer of the IGBT, heavily doped with positive, P plus, carriers. It serves as the collector terminal and is responsible for collecting holes, majority carriers for a P-type material, during conduction. In layer, drift region. The in drift region is a lightly doped, wide region that separates the collector from the gate and channel. This layer provides the high voltage blocking capability of the IGBT by sustaining the applied voltage when the device is off. It is key to determining the IGBT's voltage rating, P-well. Above the drift region lies the P-well, which forms a channel when the IGBT is turned on. This region is adjacent to the source slash emitter and plays a role in controlling the flow of charge carriers. N plus source slash emitter. The N plus region is heavily doped with negative N type carriers and is located near the top surface of the device. It serves as the emitter or source terminal. Current flows from the collector to the emitter when the IGBT is on. Gate, insulated gate. The gate is made of a metal oxide layer that is insulated from the underlying semiconductor layers by a thin layer of silicon dioxide, CO2. It controls the switching action by creating or inhibiting a conductive path between the collector and emitter. The gate terminal is crucial for turning the IGBT on and off by applying a voltage to it. Operation of IGBT The IGBT operates in two main states, on conducting and OFF, non-conducting. Its working principle is based on controlling the flow of carriers through an insulated gate, combining the speed of a MOSFET and the high current capacity of a BJT. 1. OFF state, blocking MO. In the off state, no voltage is applied to the gate terminal. The device blocks current flow from the collector to the emitter. This happens because there is no conductive path created between the layers and the IGBT is in its high impedance state. The end drift region supports any external voltage applied across the collector and emitter, allowing the device to block high voltages. 2. On state, conduction mode. When a positive voltage is applied to the gate terminal relative to the emitter, an electric field is generated. This creates a channel for electrons in the P-well region, similar to a MOSFET. With the channel formed, electrons move from the emitter, N-plus region, into the P-well, and at the same time, holes are injected from the P-plus substrate into the end drift region. The holes and electrons form a large number of charge carriers, which leads to a significant current flow from the collector to the emitter. This enables the device to conduct and pass large currents with relatively low on-state voltage drop. 3. Switching Turn on When a positive voltage is applied to the gate, the gate channel capacitance forms and turns the device on, allowing current to flow between the collector and emitter. Turn OFF When the gate voltage is removed or reduced to a threshold level, the channel collapses and the device stops conducting, turning the IGBT off. This process is controlled by the gate capacitance and the recombination of carriers in the P-well and N drift region. Key operational features. Gate control. The gate voltage controls the switching between on and OFF states. A small gate voltage is enough to switch large amounts of current, making the IGBT a voltage control device, like a MOSFET. High voltage blocking. In the off state, the IGBT is capable of blocking high voltages across the collector emitter terminals due to the end drift region. High current capability. In the on state, it allows for a large current flow thanks to the injected charge carriers, both electrons and holes, similar to a BJT. In summary, the IGBT combines the fast switching of a MOSFET and the high current carrying capability of a BJT, allowing it to efficiently handle high power applications with ease. Working principle of an IGBT, insulated gate bipolar transistor. 
The IGBT, insulated gate bipolar transistor, works by using a combination of MOSFET and BJT characteristics. It is controlled by the voltage applied to its gate terminal, which modulates the flow of current between the collector and emitter. The main mechanism involves gate-controlled conduction where the gate voltage determines whether the device is in an on, conducting, or off, non-conducting, state. Here is a step-by-step -step explanation of the working principle. 1. OFF state, blocking mode. When the IGBT is in its off state, no voltage or a small negative voltage is applied to the gate terminal. As a result, no conductive channel is formed between the collector and emitter, and the device behaves like an open switch. The collector emitter current is blocked, and only a small leakage current, if any, may flow. The lightly doped in drift region helps the device block a high voltage applied between the collector and emitter terminals, preventing current from flowing. In this state, the IGBD can withstand high voltages, making it effective for power switching applications. 2. On state, conduction mode. When a positive voltage, above a certain threshold, is applied to the gate terminal, an electric field is created across the thin, insulating oxide layer between the gate and the semiconductor body. This electric field induces the formation of a conductive channel in the P-well region beneath the gate, allowing electrons to flow from the emitter into the end drift region. At the same time, holes are injected from the P-plus substrate collector into the end drift region, creating a large number of charge carriers, both electrons and holes, in the drift region. The device now operates in saturation mode, where a significant current flows from the collector to the emitter, driven by the applied gate voltage. This current is primarily due to the movement of both electrons and holes, similar to how a BJT conducts. The IGBT has a low on-state voltage drop because of the injection of charge carriers, which reduces the resistance in the current path. The current continues to flow as long as the gate voltage is maintained above the threshold level. 3. Switching between on and OFF states. Turn on. When a sufficient positive voltage is applied to the gate, the IGBT switches from off to on, allowing a large current to flow between the collector and emitter. The gate voltage creates an inversion layer, a channel, in the P-well region, which allows the electrons to move and creates a path for current. Turn OFF. When the gate voltage is removed or reduced below the threshold, the channel collapses and the IGBT stops conducting. The flow of charge carriers diminishes and the device returns to its off state, blocking current flow. The removal of the gate voltage eliminates the electric field, causing the injected carriers to recombine and stop the current flow. Key concepts behind IGBT operation. Gate control, voltage control device. The IGBT is a voltage control device, meaning that only a small voltage rather than a large current is required to control a much larger current between the collector and emitter. The gate terminal is insulated by a thin oxide layer, which allows it to control the device without requiring a significant amount of current, similar to a MOSFET. Conduction via charge carriers. When the IGBT is turned on, both electrons and holes are involved in current conduction, making it efficient for handling large currents. This bipolar behavior gives the IGBT its high current capability, similar to a BJT. High voltage blocking. When in the off state, the IGBT blocks high voltages between the collector and emitter due to the end drift region, which allows it to be used in high voltage applications, e.g., power inverters, motor drives. Switching characteristics. Turn on time. The time it takes for the IGBT to switch from off to on, which is relatively fast but slower than MOSFETs. Turn off time. The time it takes to switch from on to off, influenced by the recombination of charge carriers. IGBTs generally have a longer turn-off time compared to MOSFETs due to their bipolar nature, whole electron recombination. Advantages of IGBT. High efficiency. IGBTs combine the fast switching speed of a MOSFET with the high current and voltage handling capacity of a BJT. Low conduction loss. Due to the low on-state voltage drop, IGBTs are highly efficient in conducting large currents. High input impedance. The gate is controlled by voltage rather than current, which reduces the power required to drive the device. Applications. Motor drives, used in controlling electric motors in industrial and automotive applications. Inverters, employed in power conversion systems such as solar inverters. 
Switch Mode Power Supplies SMPS IGBTs are used for efficient power switching. Electric vehicles used in the power control systems of EVs to manage energy flow. In summary, the working principle of an IGBT revolves around gate voltage control that enables switching between off and on states, allowing the device to conduct or block high currents and voltages efficiently in power electronic systems. Key features of IGBT Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor High Efficiency IGBTs offer low conduction losses due to their low on-state voltage drop. This makes them highly efficient in switching and power control applications, minimizing energy loss when they are in the conducting state. High Voltage and Current Handling IGBTs can handle high voltages, typically up to several kilovolts, and large currents, up to hundreds of amps, making them ideal for high power applications like motor drives, inverters, and electric vehicles. Fast Switching Speed Although not as fast as MOSFETs in high-frequency applications, IGBTs provide moderate switching speeds that are fast enough for many industrial applications. Their switching times are faster than BJTs, but slower than MOSFETs. Gate Voltage Control IGBTs are voltage control devices, meaning a small voltage applied to the gate can control large currents flowing between the collector and emitter. This provides a key advantage over current control devices like BJTs, reducing the power needed to drive the switch. Low Gate Drive Power The gate of an IGBT is insulated, which results in high input impedance. This means it requires very little power to switch the device on or off, similar to a MOSFET, making it efficient for driving large loads. Low On-State Voltage Drop When the IGBT is in the on-state, the voltage drop between the collector and emitter is relatively low, typically in the range of 1.5 to 3V. This reduces power dissipation in the device during conduction, making it efficient in high-power operations. Bipolar Conduction IGBTs combine the features of both MOSFETs, which use unipolar electron conduction, and BJTs, which use bipolar conduction, i.e., both electrons and holes. This allows for efficient current conduction at lower losses compared to pure MOSFETs in high-power applications. Latch-up free operation Modern IGBTs are designed to avoid latch-up issues, a problem where the device could unintentionally remain in the on-state. This improves the reliability and robustness of the device in power switching applications. Rugged and reliable. IGBDs are designed to handle high levels of stress, such as short circuit events, high voltage spikes, and thermal variations, making them suitable for rugged industrial and automotive environments. Thermal stability. IGBDs have good thermal characteristics and can operate at higher junction temperatures compared to other power devices, contributing to their reliability in high power, high temperature applications. Soft switching characteristics. IGBTs exhibit soft switching characteristics, meaning the voltage and current waveforms transition smoothly during switching events. This reduces electromagnetic interference, EMI, and stress on the circuit components. Applications of IGBT. Motor drives, used in variable frequency drives, VFDs, for industrial motor control. Power inverters, common in solar inverters, uninterruptible power supplies, UPS, and renewable energy systems. Electric vehicles, EVs IGBTs are used in EV power control units to convert power efficiently. Switch mode power supplies, SMPS, employed in efficient power supply systems. HVDC systems, used in high-voltage direct current power transmission systems. In summary, IGBDs are versatile and efficient components for high-power applications, providing a balance between high-current, high-voltage handling, and fast switching with low losses. Applications of IGBT, Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor Due to its ability to handle high power with high efficiency, the IGBT is widely used in various power electronics applications. Here are some of the most common uses. 1. Motor Drives Variable Frequency Drives VFDs IGBTs are extensively used in industrial motor control applications such as pumps, fans, and compressors. VFDs control the speed of electric motors by varying the frequency of the power supplied to the motor. Electric Traction In electric trains and trams, IGBTs control the motor speed and torque by converting DC from the overhead wires into AC allowing for efficient traction control. 2. Electric Vehicles, EVs Inverters and Power Control Units 
IGBDs are critical in electric vehicle, EV, powertrains, where they are used in inverters to convert DC from the battery into AC to drive the motor. They are also used in power control units, PCUs, to manage energy flow between the battery and the electric motor, improving efficiency and extending driving range. Charging systems, IGBDs are used in high-power EV charging stations to efficiently convert AC grid power to DC for fast battery charging. 3. Renewable Energy Systems Solar Inverters In photovoltaic PV, systems, IGBDs are used in solar inverters to convert DC generated by solar panels into AC for use in homes or for feeding into the power grid. Wind Turbine Power Converters In wind energy systems, IGBDs control the conversion of variable AC generated by wind turbines into stable DC and then back into grid-compatible AC power, ensuring smooth integration into the grid. 4. Uninterruptible Power Supplies UPS. In UPS systems, IGBDs manage the power conversion and switching between the utility power and backup battery systems. They ensure that power supply remains continuous even during outages, making them ideal for use in data centers, hospitals, and critical infrastructure. 5. Switch Mode Power Supplies SMPS. IGBTs are used in High Power Switch Mode Power Supplies SMPS, which convert electrical power efficiently. SMPS applications include telecommunications equipment, servers, and other industrial electronic systems that require a reliable and efficient power supply. 6. High Voltage Direct Current HVDC systems. IGBTs are essential in HVDC transmission systems, which transmit electrical power over long distances with reduced energy losses. IGBDs are used in converters that transform AC to DC at one end of the transmission line and DC back to AC at the receiving end. 7. Induction Heating IGBDs are used in induction heating systems for industrial processes such as metal hardening, welding, cooking, and melting. They efficiently switch high-frequency currents to generate heat via electromagnetic induction, improving energy efficiency in the heating process. 8. Electric Welding in welding equipment, IGBDs are used to generate high-frequency current for efficient and precise welding operations. They enable smooth control over the welding current, resulting in better weld quality. 9. HVAC Systems Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning IGBDs are used in HVAC systems for controlling motors and compressors, which are critical components in regulating airflow and temperature in large buildings and industrial settings. They ensure that HVAC systems operate efficiently and adjust power consumption based on demand. 10. Medical Devices IGBDs are also found in medical equipment, particularly in devices that require precision power control, such as MRI machines and X-ray systems. These devices rely on IGBDs for stable power delivery and smooth operation. 11. Railway Systems In high-speed trains and subway systems, IGBDs are used in traction inverters and braking systems to efficiently control and manage the power delivered to and from the train's motors, improving energy efficiency and reliability. 12. Home Appliances IGBDs are increasingly being used in high-efficiency home appliances like air conditioners, refrigerators, and washing machines. They help control motors and compressors, reducing power consumption and improving overall energy efficiency. 13. Lighting Systems IGBDs are used in high-efficiency lighting systems, including dimmable fluorescent lights and high-intensity discharge HID, lamps. They help in controlling the power supply to the lights, offering more efficient lighting control. Summary IGBDs are versatile components used in a wide range of power electronics applications where high efficiency, fast switching, and the ability to handle high voltage and current are critical. They are integral to industrial, automotive, renewable energy, transportation, and consumer electronic systems due to their reliability and efficiency in managing and converting electrical power. In summary, the IGBT is a powerful and efficient switch that balances the best properties of MOSFETs and BJTs, making it a key component in modern power electronic systems.